ahead of the Patriots' first game of the 2020 season. They're giving the reigning Defensive Player of the Year a raise. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. Stefan Gilmore getting a nice little $5 million raise on Friday before week one. Well-deserved, your initial reaction to Bill Belichick rewarding Gilmore. Well, I think that this is a direct kind of relation to J- Jalen Ramsey just signing that big contract with Los Angeles. You know, you see Ramsey, who's a very, very good cornerback, making over $20 million a year. As the reigning defensive player of the year, you're going to start scratching your head and say, if he's making 22, how am I only making 10 and a half, right? And it's just sort of obvious. And I think what you're seeing here, and, and the Patriots, I don't think, and Bill Belichick doesn't get enough credit for treating these guys as human beings and realizing that, okay, everybody does deserve to be compensated fairly and everybody does deserve to be treated a certain way. And you see this certain, you know, certainly with the practice squad, for instance, how they aren't protecting anybody on the practice squad. I think that's related to it as well. It's just wanting to do the things the right way. And Gilmore was clearly getting underpaid. All he has done is played well for the Patriots and has earned that payday. So I think at the end of the day, they did try to talk, negotiate maybe a little bit of contract extension to add a few more years on the end of his deal so that he stays a Patriot. I don't think that they got enough progress this offseason in that regard. So they end up just giving him a pay bump instead. Yeah, not just play well, but also do all the off the field things the right right as well. So this move, definitely makes you think about Cam Newton. We know he's underpaid, or at least uh, paid a lot less than probably he or anyone else anticipated. If things go well for Newton, do you see Bill Belichick doing the same thing in the form of a raise or an extension? I think an extension is a really realistic possibility here. Now, everything that you've heard out of the locker room so far is only positive about Cam. So I I think that we do need to see first what happens when they do hit some adversity. You know, if they start the season one and two, or if they go and get blown out by Kansas City or Seattle or something like that, what then happens to Cam Newton's attitude and his emotions and all that kind of stuff? Because we have seen him in the past in Carolina get a little bit down on himself. So I'm interested to see what happens then. If he continues to pass every test with flying colors though i do think an extension is coming down the line not only in order to keep him here but also i mean he is grossly underpaid this isn't just a little bit underpay like stefan gilmore this is a drastic underpay andy dalton right now is making more money to back up dak prescott than cam newton is to be a team captain and a starter for the patriots so if you're going to hand stefan gilmore a raise because it's the right thing to do then in the end of the day it's probably the right thing to do to give cam Cam Newton a little bit more money as well. So I understand he hasn't done anything yet. He hasn't taken a snap under center yet for the Patriots. And I know a lot of people would like to see him play a little bit before they give him that money. But at the same time, you do have to realize that he is unfairly, grossly underpaid right now and deserves to be paid a lot more, certainly in that Andy Dalton, Marcus Mariota range at the very least. Absolutely. Well, for all the rest of our New England Patriots coverage leading up and beyond the week one matchup between the Patriots and the Dolphins, you can find it on our website at clnsmedia.com. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.